geographic arbitrage is the idea of taking advantage of the difference in cost of living and wages between one country and another. There's two common ways this plays out. Let's use option one first to explain it. So this would be someone who comes from a low income country, let's say Cambodia. This person moves to Australia and works the fruit picker. They live there indefinitely and work and earn money in Australia where wages are far higher than in Cambodia. Option two and the one more relevant to us is nomads, offshore retirees, all these different people who move over to say Southeast Asia from the West and take advantage of the much lower cost of living here. Geographic arbitrage is incredibly powerful when it comes to earning yourself financial freedom, whether you're looking to retire or save up money as a nomad. Geographic arbitrage makes it a lot, lot easier. To live my lifestyle in Australia with, you know, eating out every meal as I do here and going out for coffees here and there and traveling maybe once a month for the weekend, going away on trips, it would cost me thousands and thousands of dollars. And believe me when I say that, seriously, my monthly living expenses would be five to 10 grand or something like that. Here, they're about a fifth of that, if even. I've met several people in their late 30s, early 40s over here who don't really work. Well, they do work because they're driven people, but they don't really have to work anymore because they understand how economics and finance work. They're able to retire over here. The idea of being able to move over to Southeast and buy a condo or an apartment in a nice area for, you know, 30, 40 grand, and it's, you know, a good place to live is pretty ridiculous to some people when you tell them how cheap housing is here. And you can have a home over here, maybe you're even only here for six months of the year. There's plenty of people who come here for maybe say six months over their winter in the West, wherever they're from, and they hang out here, they spend more money than they would back in the West, or they spend less money, but they buy more things and do more stuff. They go out traveling, they do things on the weekend, they invest in their health and their fitness, because over here you can afford to do that. And this is something that a lot of people don't think about, you know, even if you can't come over here full time, you can still spend part of your time here. And that's another thing that you should consider. I guess I might not have been clear enough onto what the actual ins and outs of geographic arbitrage is, but really short, what this looks like is, say if you've got your wages in Australia and they're $30 an hour working in a restaurant and they're a dollar an hour equivalent here, and then you've got accommodation, which might be $600 a week in Australia, and it's $300 a month here. When you look at that and everything's unbalanced and unfair, well, at, at first it just seems like two different economies. But when you really think about it, you can take advantage of that. If you can be earning money in the high income country and spending it in the low income country, you can seriously increase your quality of life and you have to work less, you have to worry less, and there really is a lot to be said for it. I think that's a good enough explanation of geographic arbitrage. It's not specifically relevant to our business per se. It's very important to the business because the ability for people to come over to Southeast Asia and perform geographic arbitrage, whether it's from things like obviously just your cost of living and things like that, but also for companies, often it's tax rates and just friendliness towards business that is also improved when moving over here. Just keep the concept in mind and have a think about how you can apply it to other parts of your life because it is very powerful and a very valuable tool you can use going forward.